Okay, so Donald Trump has been leading the polls, but guess what? There have been no really spending dollars on advertisements against him. Shocked Why is me. that? Does that make any sense to you? Well, not like I just think that people are. Donald Trump is like an enigma. <laughs> He's almost like a mirage. Mm -hmm. As and, I see him sitting over. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> You just can't make up, like, he just can't make, you just, like, what he does, he just can't make it up. I know, and he's pretty much destroying himself, so why would but, you spend more money on it? Right, but no, I don't even think he's, because, I mean, he's not destroying himself. Every time, so where I think that all the pundits are wrong, it was like, oh, Donald Trump's going to drop out. Donald Trump's going to leave the race. That's not going to happen. It, it's in his best interest to stay around as long as possible. It's in his best interest, right? Like, it's in his best interest to stay because he's going to leave this and he'll probably get a television show on some network, he'll go back to Celebrity Apprentice, or he'll just become like, you know, one of those Republican talking heads, Rush Limbaugh, he might be getting a radio show, I mean, who knows? I don't know, maybe even he's just blowing up his own brand, to say the least. If you yeah. see a Trump hotel, you're like, oh, I know, I know who him. that is. Exactly, and there's a Trump hotel opening up in Washington just a oh, couple weeks. Oh, I saw weeks. that. Just this spring, it's opening up. But, I mean, here's the thing, he is beating on the national polls. Now, national polls don't matter that much in the grand scheme of things, it's really the state by states. Right, so on the national poll, he's creaming people, like creaming them, like cream corn, bam, cream spinach, just a mess. Mm -hmm. But when you get into the states, like Ted Cruz is clearly the front runner in Iowa, mm -hmm. which Iowa doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter, because Iowa's a, like I like to say, Iowa's a qualifier, not a disqualifier. Okay. Then I, but I actually think Donald Trump wins New Hampshire pretty, pretty, he just wins, I think he wins New Hampshire. Okay, so let's look at the numbers, though, a little bit. So $99.3 million have been sent on ads as of a total thing, but $1.7 million of those dollars have only been spent on tacking him. Where do you think that comes from? Because I think people, all the, all the prognosticators and pollsters think that, like, Donald Trump, for whatever the reason, is going to drop out. And I think they're all wrong. Uh -huh. America, the pollsters, the prognosticators, and the pundits, not me, all the rest of them, are wrong. They're wrong. Tamara, they're wrong. Really wrong? <laughs> no, I mean, like, it's like they're ridiculously wrong. Like, if you look at all the data, I mean, all your, what you're seeing, if you look at the trend lines pretty carefully, right? Like, it's like Donald Trump is going like this. Yeah. And every other candidate's doing a sort of like a... Yeah, a s demise. Right, like, first it was Carly, and then Carly, then it was Ben Carson, then it was Marco Rubio. So what do you think is the next step for Trump? What do you think is going to happen next? I don't know. He's going to say something crazy. That has happened a million <laughs> times. You're not telling the telling us the future by saying that. Well, no, but if that is the future, he's going to say something bad shit crazy. That is a good point. I mean, like, what? I mean, what else does he do? I mean, think about it logically. Like, what else? Can, what? I mean, what do you think? What do you think he's going to do next? I'm not sure. I don't know if he's going to have some great demise, like everyone's kind of waiting <laughs> for it to come. But I don't know if that's really going to happen.